Year 4 are going to investigate friction. Good morning, children. Their teacher, Mr Khalil, has planned an investigation using some interesting equipment. We're going to look at how one boy called Kane gets on with this lesson and the business of learning science. How will Kane get to grips with the science of friction? Whenever a thing moves across the top of something else, the friction between them slows down how fast the thing moves. We want to find out how the type of surface can affect how fast an object such as a vehicle moves down a ramp. All right? So we've got a number of ramps, we've got a number of different surfaces as well, and we're going to find out is the friction on all surfaces the same or do you get more friction on some surfaces or do you get less friction on other surfaces? All right? And I'm also going to allow you to make a prediction. If the vehicle travels quite a distance before it stops, what does that tell you? Kane suffers with asthma and is often away from school. He also has individual behaviour and learning plans. Something has gone wrong. Something will have gone wrong because on the same surface... Kane doesn't seem to be concentrating on the learning objectives. If you rolled it properly, it shouldn't be that much time between them. Roughly, the answer should be pretty much the... Same. Should be the same, shouldn't it? Good. Uh, so the first thing's first. We're going to move the tables and chairs. All right? And then I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of what I expect from you, OK? All right? And then it's going to be over to you, children. Breaking into groups has brought about discussions about leadership. He's the selfish man. I'm the leader. You're Jason's stopwatch. No, I'm stopwatch. She's Kate Measure. I'm a wood woman. It's clearly important to Kane to have status. I thought, so that, I, thought, I thought we agreed there wasn't going to be a leader. There is no leader. If he can't be leader, then perhaps he'll be the roller. Please, thank you. What else did we say that we're going to need? Thumbs up. More explanation from Mr Khalil on what they'll be doing with the ramps. But Kane is impatient to be getting on with it. That's one thing that I need to discuss with you as well. Kane needs to understand that science is about so fair testing and the processes of measuring and recording. Together, OK? But it's the appearance okay, of the little right. trucks that is taking his attention. I should be seeing more hands up here, you know. I shall. A tape measure. A tape measure. Because there's two ways, remember, Kane? There's two ways we're going to measure friction. One Mr Khalil steers this. him back on course. What else are you going to need? None of you mentioned this yet, so you must have very good memories if you're not going to record... What you're gonna, what your results are. So what you're gonna need to record your results, Kane? Okay? Piece of paper. You're gonna need a piece of paper. He's focused back on the task. Because you're gonna be working in a team, it won't be necessary, Kane, for all of you to have an individual piece of paper. So you can make a team prediction, and we can have one person as the person who writes the results. Okay? Here is the slope of this ramp there. Okay? Oh, it looks so. This is the highest it is there. Yeah. What's going to happen as far as the vehicle's concerned? Cameron? It's going to go fast. It's going to go fast. So, what should you do to the slope then? Lower it. You should lower it. That's it. OK? So... Yeah. He understands about the gradient of the ramp and is excited about using the stopwatch. Kane's group are working well together, assembling their ramp. But they've been asked to pause again while Mr Khalil talks about the different surfaces to test on the ramps. What's up? Carpet. All right? Good. Being in charge of the stopwatch is proving irresistible to Kane. If you are in charge of the stopwatch, you have to show a bit of responsibility, all right? And not play with it until the time is appropriate, Kane. All right? Otherwise, I'm going to have to reassign your job and give it to someone else. The first thing I want you to do is to measure how far it travels. So I'm going to allow you to roll it down and just let your vehicle stop, all right? So, first try, second try, third try. The class are being shown how their results should be recorded. Kane has stopped looking at the stopwatch and has instead turned his attention to the truck and its construction. You have to do all five. I want you to do at least four, all right? So... Mr Khalil brings him back on task. Right, Kane, tell me one of the surfaces. What? Tell you what first, put your vehicle down. 
Wood. Wood. Yeah, what else? Rubber. Rubber. Someone else? Despite being diverted by other okay. matters, Kane has absorbed the different surfaces they'll be testing. Some paper. And children, look. However, it's apparent he has to have something in his hands to fiddle with. Spellings as well, OK? You're not going to be using that stopwatch until you've actually done the measuring first. Do you understand? No. At last, with the investigation fully underway, Kane becomes a cooperative and motivated member of the group. Let's try wood first, all right, because... Let's see. So that's going to slide down. You might be right, it might be going too far, mightn't it? Why don't you put it in that ledge there? Look, can you see the hole there? Can you see it? All right, let's do that. Right, can you tighten that for me now? Shall we try that? Yeah. All right. So, who's the uh, ramp? Who's the vehicle man? We're not measuring the time yet, my little friend. We're going to measure how far it goes first, yeah? So, come over here, let me give you another job. Stop. You're going to sit down where it stops. Do you understand? All right? So stand over here. Stand there. Go! Excellent. Now, it's stopped now, hasn't it? Yeah? All right, so, let's have a look. One, four, five. Come here. You only need your stopwatch, all right, when we're going to do the measuring how long it takes, all right? So, why are you wandering around with your hands? Why are you wandering around with your hands here? When are you going to need this? Yeah, but you don't need it yet, do you? All right, so put it back over there and help your team, OK? Good luck. Off you go. Measure it in. Despite another caution about using the stopwatch, Kane is unable to leave it alone. But he is still part of the investigation. Kane perceives there to be a problem. The bubble wrap has caused sufficient friction to prevent the truck from making it down the ramp. His solution is to loosen the wheel nuts. In deciding to loosen the wheel nuts, Kane's own understanding of how to reduce the force of friction comes into play. He wants to loosen them to make the truck go faster. And it does. Much to the delight of one of his team. They're making a good attempt at measuring. But in loosening the wheel nuts, none of them have taken into account fair testing. And what are you doing with the wheels? Unfortunately, Kane's insight into friction is swamped by the necessity for the children to remember fair testing. All right. How many have you done for this already? Two. Two, that's enough, that's enough. No, never mind, it's all right. Now, can you come over here, this group? Too much time on the measuring means the stopwatches won't be used this lesson. So, which one do you think the one that went the slowest? But any disappointment Kane feels is forgotten as he involves himself in the continuing investigation. Because the car came down the ramp and some of them it stayed straight, but some of them it did turn. All the groups have been filling in a list of their findings. But are they able to interpret their results? The group working with teaching assistant Julie seem to have achieved consistent results in their tests. In Kane's group, it's been a bit more complicated.
On which surface did the vehicle travel fastest? Can you suggest why? So, the, um, sandpaper. sandpaper. So you found that the that your vehicle travelled faster. uh, faster than sandpaper, even faster than wood. Yeah. Okay, and that's when you tried it three times in each. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The sandpaper itself. Wasn't it that seems that Keynes Group's questionable methods have not delivered them very useful results. So how have the other groups got on? We we done the wood and the wood went further than all of them. Good girl, super. Really good answer. Well done, Fatima. OK, Jordan, can I just say thank you for that investigation? I really enjoyed watching you do that. I think you've learnt things that you can take from that investigation into your everyday life experiences as well. And we'll continue next week as well. Excellent. Unsure how much Kane had really understood about friction, we decided to ask him what his lesson had been about. We had to do, uh, we had to set, set up the sandpaper on that, and we could choose which type of which type of thing did we want, which one did we want first? And me and my group found out sandpaper was the fastest with the car, and then we tried rubber, and then we tried carpet, and then bubble wrap was the uh, least. It never went very fast on bubble wrap. Having accurately reconstructed the experiment, he diligently applies himself to calculating the results. Then I said to my friends, pass me the car, please. And he passed it me, and I says, I'm going to untighten the wheels a bit, and then I put it back on the surface, and it, and it went further. Do you know why it worked when you undid the nuts? Do you know why? Because the, nut, the nuts were too tight for the uh, wheels, so the wheels were stiff like that and they wouldn't move. Were they sticking? Yeah, they were sticking like, like that and it wouldn't move. The and wheels wouldn't move, they were just stopping. Do you it know what moves. that sticking is? Yeah, when it, when it sticks to something and do it you know won't move. Ah. Mr. Cleo said it in the class and I can't remember it. Begins with a f. Was it friction? Was it friction? Yeah. With some grasp of friction and of what it can do, perhaps at Kane's level of learning, the most important factor is that he enjoyed the lesson. We had loads of fun and me and my friend were saying, what if it don't work, what would, what would happen? You get to uh, make things and you get to play with things while you're in science and plus while you're playing with things you're doing work too at the same time. So it's getting really fun. Mm -hmm.